Today's question was stimulated from the discussions about the dribble handoff series. The question is, do you ever run the DHO, the dribble handoff, from a five out formation? The answer is, yes I do, but probably for a different reason than you might think. Five out sets up a natural double pin screen or double flare screen situation. Let me draw this situation using Tactic 3D and press my magic 3D button to show you what it looks like. If you like this software, check it out at Tactic3D.com. You can draw your own and send them to your entire team with the click of a button. We have both wings and both corners filled. So you could start this action to the right or to the left. I have the ball handler coming down the left slot and power dribbling across the top of the key. As the right wing comes over the top to receive the handoff, two screens are being set at the same time. The right corner is setting a screen for the initial ball handler, while the left corner sets a screen for the right wing. This gives the receiver of the handoff either corner to pass to. But those are not the only options. Either screener could sprint to the basket after the screen or ghost the screen for a layup. And don't overlook that all defenders off the ball are being occupied in screening actions. Five out leaves the lane empty and your ball handler can get downhill to a layup if he or she has an advantage. This action comes directly out of the read and react offense. We call it a power dribble. If you're tired of your sets or your plays being scouted, if your players need a higher basketball IQ, or if you just want to have more fun teaching, coaching, and playing the game, visit betterbasketball.com. Look for the read and react offense. Our goal is simple, to help you coach better.